What's up guys, this is Ardik here. So I did build a custom PC this month, which is around $2,000 build. It did go above $2,000 because of the graphic card that I chose, but I'll be showing you how to get it under or even up to $2,000. So basically the first thing people ask me is what site do you trust in India for getting like computer hardware parts? So the only answer I'll be telling is the Prime ABGP. So they also have an offline store, which is in Lamington Road. I'll also be linking that in the description below. So the thing here is if you go offline and if you purchase all the parts from them, they give you a discount of around five to six thousand. So the prices online are a bit more than what they provide offline. So that's a really good thing. So you can like save that money and you can basically get a keyboard or let's say a mouse. So the build I went with, the first thing is the CPU, which is the processor. And obviously, uh, I didn't choose the i5 or i3. I went with the i7-6700K. Not only with the 6700, I went with the K because I'm planning of overclocking my PC in the future. So if you know, the K stands for overclocking. So yeah, the CPU I chose was that. Then, if you're going to overclock, obviously you'll also need a motherboard which, is, which supports overclocking. So the thing with the motherboard here is that in every motherboard, the H series that you have is, is not overclockable. So you actually have to go with the Z series which supports overclocking. So I did go with the ASRock Z170 Extreme 6. I was about to go with the ASUS Z170 Pro Gaming but the maximum ram capacity in that was like um 30 gb and in here you get 64 gb of maximum capacity also there are tons of usb 3.0 and also two 3.1 usb dots so that's a good thing so once you have done with all these things um let's see uh the next thing here I went with uh, the RAM so the thing happened with the RAM is I first chose the Corsair one uh, which was around 2700 400 megahertz but the person there suggested me to get the G skill one instead of Corsair uh, which was like 3000 megahertz uh, I didn't actually get the model number but I'll be providing that in the description below but for now I'll be adding um ram type which was ddr4 but as i said for now i'll be adding a g skill one around that price point only also do check the description below if i go wrong anywhere here so the ram i bought was basically 16 gigs of ram so the price point was around 5000 or something um so for instance i'll be selecting this one the 16 gigs uh, just for the price to be known so once this is done the Intel hard drive I chose was Western Digital I did uh, first go with the Seagate one but in the Google Plus community which I am in the people suggested me to go with the Western Digital because the Seagate ones wear out pretty pretty easily so the one I went with was Western Digital Black 1 TB desktop hard drive if you want you could add 2 TB but that will go over budget so that's the thing also I prefer going with an M2 drive or an M2 drive rather than going with the SSD so I went with a Samsung 500 gigahertz M2 drive the good thing here in an M2 drive is basically you can load your OS and once you loaded your OS in an M2 drive your OS will boot like within seconds so that's a good thing so here as you can see I installed my OS in the 5 gigs of M2 drive that I have. So I went with the 850 series which is 500 gigs of M SATA here we go. So I went with the 850 EVO, 950 EVO was like crazy over budget it was like 25,000 of uh, rupees and in here uh, I got the Samsung one for like 14,000 so almost like a 10,000 rupees difference the graphics card I went with is the GTX 1070 but that did go over price as I said so instead I'll be showing you uh, what brand and what graphic card to go with I prefer EVGA or Gigabyte but I think EVGA makes the best graphics card so the CPU chip I'll be showing you is or suggesting you is go with the 970 
so here you go this is out of stock let's see um this also is going like a little over budget um but yeah i i went with the asus gtx 1070 let me just quickly show you that if i search gtx 1070 i went with the asus which was like 10000 rupees more so i went with this one the geforce gt but yeah that was like as i said 10000 10, rupees more but if you want you can get it but it's currently out of stock in india and you can't get this anywhere so i prefer going with the 970 instead of um 1070 but yeah it was worth the wait and the gt extension is working fine so the power supply I went with uh, was the Corsair one and I I got the 750 watts which in my opinion is basically fine the minimum requirement I need was 500 or 600 watts but yeah this uh, is doing fine as well so I did go with the RM series because CX series is not like uh, reliable or so uh, so RM uh, 750 is what I went with so it's out of stock for now but um let's see we'll just add another one in the same price point so eight thousand or nine thousand if we select okay this one i went with the x1 i'm sorry so the x1 is a bit more powerful than the normal one but yeah just go with the x1 instead of the normal one so once the power supply is done which is the uh, thing you have to go with the cpu cooler which is the main part of your device or your system or your cpu so here i don't prefer going with uh, one single fan instead i prefer going with two fans so i was like confused between these two ones so if i just quickly open both of them i'll be showing you which one to go with and which one to not so basically the i7 requires um the compatibility here which is 1151 and which is not uh, in this so you, you can't find 1151 over here so this one which is the H110i GTX won't be supported in your CPU so just go with the H100V2 uh, extreme performance water liquid cooler so add to cart and you're done so as you can see the price is now around let's see one lakh seven thousand uh, so the last thing we'll have to select is optic drive if you want you can skip this one but yeah uh, let, let, let's skip this uh, or uh, let's see so the PC cases or cabinet I went with was the NZXT Phantom 410 so um, let's find it NZXT Phantom 410 here we go this one it's the mid tower I suggest go with the um, 531 because you don't get enough uh, openness or enough glass here but as you can see you get more glass which is over here so if you want to display your CPU or your internal parts more just go with the 531 which is full tower and not with the 410 so yeah once this is done we are like 1 lakh 15 thousand so you could like add more stuff if you want let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 we are done so let's see uh, if we convert 15 uh, 115,000 rupees to uh, dollars. If we just Google and if we just 115047, there you go, and there you can see it's below 2000 dollars, so that's a good thing. Also, as I said, you will get discounted price if you go offline. Uh, one thing I have to add here is I went with the um, NCXT uh, LEDs, which I did um, put in my CPU. So that did cost around 4000. So if we just add 9 over here 
it's uh, around two thousand dollars here as you can see so it's 1707 if you want you could go with the gtx 1070 but it's out of stock for now uh but you could find it on amazon let's see if we have it on amazon gtx 1070 there we go uh you have the zotac one you also have the normal for asus one so i suggest go with this one uh, and not with the zotac one because zotac I, I don't know zotac is not that branded company i mean i haven't heard of zotac so yeah it's it's a bit overpriced here in india which is forty thousand. um but yeah it's it's worth the price uh, the temperatures in here are a bit high than normal but other than that if you have a cpu cooler basically you can like cool that and temperature around goes around 81 degrees celsius when i play gta 5 so that's not that bad but it's not good as well but yeah anyways it gets your job done so jumping onto a car let's let's finally check out what all we have is the intel i7 6700k skylake 4.0 gigahertz uh, you can overclock it to 4.4 4.6 if you want the azurox z170 as i said go with the z well, z series and not with h series because these series are overclockable g skill not this ram but i'll be providing the ram model that i went with in the description below the western digital black which is the most reliable hard disk also with the samsung 850 evo 500 gb of uh, uh, msata which is m.2 drive you could increase your m.2 drive to uh, let's say 1 tb or something less than 1 tb uh, just to get it over 2000 or up to 2000 dollars then the motherboard or some sorry graphics card I went with is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 which is the best graphic card till date and if you want you could go with the 1080 but you'll go a more or price which is like actually double the price of the 970 in India it's up to 70,000 I guess the 1070 but if you want you could go with the uh, 1070 I'm sorry the 1070 is uh, 44,000 as I said and the 1080 is 60 or 70,000 so you could go with the 1070 as well then the liquid cooling is the uh, important part here and as I said the H100 will support your motherboard and the processor and and in the end the N60 Phantom 410 or 530 if you want and the total here is 1,15,000 which is under $2,000 as I said so yeah that's been it so this was my pc build of 2016 so yeah thank you for this video if you have any questions regarding this parts just let me know in the comment section below also i'm recording this on my lg 34 inch 60 the model number is lg 34 um67 so i got this imported from uh i don't know the website but i got it for around 45,000 as well uh 45 50,000 so yeah i'll be linking that in the description as well if you want to get one so yeah that's about it guys thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions as i said just let me know in the comment section below and yeah i'll be making my setup to video soon on my channel so stay tuned for that as well and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next one